Hello again, welcome back to me and myself, and I playing The Binding of Isaac after birth. We play games, so you don't have to. It's a Maggie run, and we have, uh, wait, which button do I press to do what? Uh, is this Excel floor? No. We have the Pokeball for some reason. I don't know why we have started with a Pokeball. We've got a Tears upgrade, and Telepills. I was actually going to say, I hope this is Telepills. It turns out, this is Telepills. What does Pokeball do? Good question. We've also got... Wow, we've got a lot of starting items. There must be something special about today. Uh, uh, it's Valentine's Day. Okie dokie. So, I'm not quite sure why these particular items are Valentine's Day, but... <laughs> whatever. I guess the, uh, the charm tears make some sense. But we have... Oh, it's three, three room charge. We have the battery, which allows us to collect charges on our item and use them. Twi oh, crap, that guy didn't die. Whew. Nearly, nearly came a cropper of that one. Probably should have collected one of these baddies and, you know, thrown it at something else. Basically, you use one charge to pick up something, uh, an enemy, and one charge to throw it. So now we have two charges. It actually makes the Pokeball a viable item, I think. I assume that we can't pick up... Um, wow, that monster just shat on that monster, which I am absolutely ill for. I assume we can't pick up bosses, or I would have tried and failed by now. There is a Tinted Rock back here, do you see that? We've got Super Bandage, which is two several hearts, in fact, there's no point hanging around, let's leave. We didn't really get much out of that floor. Uh, knowledge about a Telepills, which could be valuable in the future. We might as well go to, to this as well. Oh yeah, that was definitely worthwhile. So now we're guaranteed all our deals with the devil for the entire game. Uh, We've got some knowledge about some pills, especially telepills, as noted, could be useful if you wanted to scarp her from a difficult situation. Uh, we now have a bomb, so we can open this. And we've got a new one, and another one. That's actually a really good payout. What else did we get? Uh, we got the super bandage, which is just HP, which we can sell to our myriad deals with the devil that we'll be getting from now on. Do you know what? I should use this. I missed. <laughs> did I miss? Maybe I didn't miss. I'm not sure. What else did we get? We've got Robo Baby. Not a huge fan of Robo Baby. Mostly because uh, it kind of does passive damage as it flies around the room. It's not, you know, it's not a, an item to get all excited about. We learned about some other pills to. Yeah, I'm just going to leave this here actually. <laughs> just as I was saying that Robo Baby isn't actually the greatest item in the world, it pulls out a, a decent amount of. Yeah, we didn't, uh, we didn't pick up a baddie, that's a shame. It actually pulls out a really good uh, moment for itself. So that shows me to not to shit on Robo Baby in the future. Do -do -do. Dingle here is just going to take some time, it'll be fine. It's going to keep shooting at its own poops as long as it's charmed, which is reasonably often apparently. But it does seem to have a lot more HP than I would like it to have. A Maggie run is... Uh, previously I've complained about Maggie runs. You know, low eight, low, not low HP. Quite the opposite. High HP, low damage. Obviously we get a deal with the devil because we're guaranteed to get deals with the devil. And we get the mark and the athame, athame, whatever you want to call it. I should look up how to pronounce it. But I have yet to. This is a, an obvious situation where having a little bit more damage would certainly have helped us out because we would have been able to kill those sons of a bitches before they got to us. Uh, when do we use the world card? Good question. Uh, at some point, we're going to want to go faster. At that point, we should pop the world card so we can see where we're going. This has turned out to be a difficult situation. Not a situation I was expecting to be difficult, but difficult nevertheless. Oi! You fucking dick! <laughs> Took him apart. Uh, we can't actually play that, which is a shame. We're going to need more keys in general. I think. And what is a, why is the Pokeball remotely relevant to this Valentine's Day themed run? In fact, why is any of this except for the Mom's Eyeshadow remotely relevant to Valentine's Day? Is it because these are all items that, oh, fuck you, seriously, that have some relation to charm effects? Maybe we should just like, try collecting this. Stop killing the thing when I'm trying to fucking collect it, you absolute son of a bitch. Hey, yo, pro tip. If you're playing this run. 
Um, a, have amazing dodging skills like that. But B, don't pick up the fucking Robo Baby because you're just going to shoot the shit out of everything that you're trying to collect. Ow. That actually hit me twice, even though I thought I was invincible for the second part. We have won a lemon particle, which is going to end this room for us, even though I dodged into the... Look. You know how I feel about those particular things. They will always cause me damage. It's just the way of the world. Just try not to think about it too much. We haven't got a single key yet, which is very upsetting. Not only does it mean that we can't, you know, get, get into our item room and shop, it also means we can't get to do the, bob, the mob trap room. Because that had golden chests in it, we need to open them to activate it. Doing some decent damage now, thanks to the packs. And of course, damage taking is... Oh, for fuck's sake. Where is it? There it is. Is entirely uh, a concern of not dying. I took everything. Uh, <laughs> I'm going all in on this run. Um, this is usually why I am bad at poker. Because I put all my chips in one basket. But it's also going to be why we die early on this run too. I shouldn't worry about it too much. It's just going to happen. It is what it is. That's probably a secret room, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, it really is. Please keys no. These are not keys. Well, we know where the shop is and we know where the item room is, so we're not going to be able to get into those without paying a key for it. So now we just need to continue to not die. I got you. I fucking got you. You saw it. I got it. Now one of those is on my side, or will be, when I choose to use the Pokeball again. Which is on the 12th of fucking never, apparently. I assume that's how it works here. Yeah. So now we've got to challenge one of those. I assume I don't have to kill it. It's not really helping. <laughs> it's really not helping. I wonder how long it lasts. See, I'd like to keep the shop, the, the store credit trinket. Oh, you can use it straight away. Interesting. It does last a while. Maybe it lasts until it dies. That would be good. I do want the rusted key. But I also want to keep the store credit. Because it means we can get something from the shop without paying any money for it. Which is also very valuable. Oh, I think I killed it by... <laughs> I killed my own familiar. Whatever. We didn't get a key on that entire floor. So I am calling slightly bullshit. But also, I'm expecting everybody in our situation not to have had a key there. There's a small chance that there was a key available in, you know, the rooms on the first floor that I, di I didn't explore. Ooh. Push button. Receive bomb. Not bad. Also receive crawl space. Not sure why I uh, earned a charge for doing that button pushing, but that's fine. I also earned a charge for this, even though I could have just left the room. Hmm. Good to know. We've got Infamy. Infamy will help, I expect. Oh, do you know what? We don't have red hearts, so this will give us three spirit hearts. Ha 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 ha! Next level strats right here. Let me do this, if we can. Yes, we can. Keys, please. Thank you. Not really down with the haunt play over here, but that's okay. How did you not collect that? How the fuck are you supposed to deal with this? This is the worst item. And I'm not exaggerating, that's a pretty shit item, on account of how obviously there is a way of attacking such that it is more likely to succeed. Uh, but I didn't sort of achieve that. So how does one use the Pokeball such that one is guaranteed to collect the thing that one is throwing the Pokeball at? Oh shit. <laughs> Run away, I die, die, leave. Whew. Look, I'm succeeding at this more by the fact that we have Incubus doing double damage than by the fact that I am even remotely capable. Can't be wrong, the fucking flooded caves. It happens every bloody game. We are going as far as Mom's heart. Ooh. Managed to avoid all that damage as well. Mom's heart, and this is easy mode, by the way. <laughs> Just, just so you know, this is not a hard mode run. This is a, a normal mode run. Which probably explains why there are so few champions and I haven't actually died despite having been flying by the skin of my teeth for a few rooms. Actually, that's not true. We did a couple of rooms with one... Ooh, maybe. 
Spirit Heart, and then we had the opportunity to augment it. We have got two keys, so we will actually use our shop. The shop contains battery baby and a battery and spirit... Oh, fuck it. I don't want any of that. <laughs> so we're going to continue to hold on to store credit, which only allows us to buy one of those items for free. If, if you can call it buying, I suppose, if it's free. Uh, not a great idea, but my brain hadn't registered that it was a golden chest until I'd already pressed the open. I've already fired the trigger to open it in my brainium before it short-circuited itself and went, no, don't press that. Run. 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 Good. Just telling myself, you know, it's like a, it's like a metronome, an internal metronome. You tick. Just slightly out of sync with it. Second cigarette room? Yeah. It very much seemed like one. There's a certain pattern where you you notice... Oh, now we've got Curse of the Maze. Great. Uh, you know, you, you see rooms that normally have two exits, and you go, this room normally has two exits. To yourself. Maybe, or maybe not in that voice. It really depends. It's up to you, is what I'm saying. Um, and then... And then... Uh, you, you go, well, it doesn't have two exits. And then you make a new exit, and you go, I am very proud of myself for having determined that the second exit to this room involved explosives. And, uh, a percussive device whose entire purpose is to completely dismantle the... I'm going to leave and come back so that this, this room disappears. Fine. I will spend Spirit Heart to gain uh, Spirit Heart. Ah, oh, it's back. We won ourselves an Eternal Heart, so we should be able to. We should be reasonably capable of keeping that alive. Uh, that fucker shot me, and I can't reach that. <laughs> not, I'm not down with this. Flush. Ah, uh, I prefer Flush. Should be able to keep the Spirit Heart alive and uh, Eternal Heart alive. Full health, okay. Uh, until the next floor. I'm hoping. 11 minutes on Flooded Caves 2 is a decent amount of time to get to boss rush, which we need to do, because we're not going to be able to do hush. We can't sacrifice boss rush for hush. As we are all mostly extremely familiar with by now. What does flush do? Uh, it's not, you know, a stupendous item. I don't know how I avoided all that damage just now. It's really good for big rooms with lots of enemies on them. All it does, you'll like this, turns them all into poop. Yeah, I told you you'd like it. Well, I was going to say I'm hoping for a Krampus fight here, but uh, to be honest, that would have been a lie because I'd forgotten that an alternative was Pretty this room. Fine. We've got full health and we've got the world. I'm going to keep the world for Necropolis 2, or Deaths 2, whatever it turns out to be, because by doing that, we can benefit from deciding whether we want to go for the full exploration bonus or try to get into um, Boss Rush. We basically, we'll know where to go, so we can save a lot of time. Our, um, our shots are big, which I'm a fan of. That implies a lot of damage, which is obviously not too common for a Maggie run. These sons of a bitch or so. This is why you need all this damage, because you can actually get away from them, bastards. Question marks. One of these is actually question marks. Quick, get out. Well, oof. that bad trick wasn't too bad. Simply because we managed to use the period of invincibility that we got from it to leave the curse room without you know, paying for the, the damage cost of doing so. Don't think we can reach that. I'm trying to get rid of these, uh... Let's flush this room, screw it. Yeah, fuck you, this room. Ha, it makes all the... Okay. Spirit Heart is nice. We should shoot these, just on the off chance that they contain something. They didn't. Probably, uh... Probably worth noting that the, the poops that we made and shot were of no value to us. It didn't really cost any time, so... Not too upset. We do have uh, a key now, which I'm not going to use to open this golden chest, although I'd very much like to. Uh, apparently, I'm going the wrong way as well. I think I'll use the flush on the next room. The key can get us to the shop, and the shop should be able to sell us another key, if nothing else. Um, but I would have to be careful to drop store credit in that situation, because obviously, I don't want I don't want the key to cost nothing if a decent item could cost nothing instead. Let's just end this room too. Good job. So with Dank Depths 1, we've found the boss and we've got 13 minutes. 13 and a half minutes. So 
We need maybe th three or four minutes on the next floor. But a lot of what that would normally be is now going to be... Oh, careful. Uh, it's, it's going to be... Normally it would be exploration. You know, getting lost. Not being able to find the boss in the first place. And it's now not going to be a problem because we can use a world card to see exactly where we're going. I'm kind of tempted to do Cuban meat damage. Well, Paula bandages damage, but... It's also pretty scary because you have to get close to an enemy that has a slight random motion. It keeps pissing me off by getting in the way. Uh, I mean, this could be even more better. I'll tell you what, we'll come and get this at the end. Why? I have a flush charge. In fact, I've got a flush and a half. Which means we can sort out this next big room. No problem. And then, because the goat head allows us to get back into the deal with the devil, because it will force the door to stay open, that gives us the opportunity to sort of put off the decision of whether to take that out. Yeah, I'll pop this on here. Oh, it only gets rid of tiny enemies anyway. Well, fuck these guys and also the cat they rode in on. Somewhere, oh, okay. there is a... Man, that thing's going crazy. Shut the hell up. An item room, which I would like to make use of by going into and taking the thing that is the item. Another key, that's great. It means we can open... Oh, yeah, we'll definitely take this. Amazing. We could probably use our other flush charge on one of these waves as well. Probably not this one. I wonder what the third wave is. Die, please. Fuck it. Those things are going to disappear. And piss me off. So we used it. We've got Daddy Longlegs. Daddy Longlegs is an excellent item. Daddy Longlegs will occasionally stamp down from the ceiling and kill something. There's a very good chance that when it does that, the thing that it stamps on will die. Just like that. Because it, it does constant damage as it's touching the thing. Look. If I'm going to spend a key to open a chest, it's going to be a, a golden chest. Apparently we haven't found our shop either. But now we have. Little gifts from the from the boss. Oh, chaos. Free. You beauty. Eve's bird foot. Well, it's a thing. Justice. Justice, Justice gives us some consumer blur. Still keeping this world card, although I'm tempted to take starter deck so I can take another card if I want to, which is going to be the lovers. Well, that seems appropriate to the theme of the run. Uh, the guppy. Hmm. I don't think we keep this guppy item because we're going to sell our HP, the one HP that we have, to the devil for the Book of Belial. It's going to be an amazing damage upgrade for us, which is not necessarily hugely important right now. I think we're doing okay on that. But, as we continue, and I would like to try somehow to get past the mom's heart floor, alright? So we're going to be looking for an AWAS room. In fact, we should be probably bombing to see if we can find the super secret rooms. Because they're very likely to contain an AWAS room. They're the m probably the most likely way of getting said AWAS room. The Emperor card will just skip this whole floor. Well, we said we'd use the world card, so we might as well take the Emperor and the Lovers. Probably doesn't help us. The Magician seems slightly more valuable than the Lovers, but not to any huge extent. We're really low on keys today. Uh, well, we want to do the room for the you know, prestige, but mostly the points. So we should, is what I'm saying here. And therefore we shall take it. Uh, the HP, having it, not having it, doesn't really make so much of a difference in my opinion at this stage of the game, so... Yeah, take it. Play the room. Kill Loki. Loki, die. Die, Loki, die. Hello? There we go. Oh yeah, only two. Only two bosses at this stage. Justice. Use it. Magician. Wander off with our new key. If we can find enough keys to open that, I will do. But right now, the real concern is... Okay, thanks. Uh, it's kind of simply the fact that we want the keys to open the other rooms. Two of hearts, strength, temperance. Uh, what is it? Emperor. I don't think we need the Emperor uh, card, to be honest. So we'll take... The strength card will help. Two of hearts could help. Let's keep temperance. I don't know. <laughs> I'm just picking something. There is a... Uh, ooh. That was really stupid. Why did I take that? There is a self-sacrifice room on this floor. And it probably is worth not doing boss rush in order to do the self-sacrifice room. In order to teleport and do that extra floor. 
Because we can't do hush, basically. Man, this fucker. Plus. Oh, Daddy Longless sorted it all out for me. Uh, I have accidentally used the key that I was intentionally not using. Because I wasn't really paying attention. Okie dokie. What I'm really looking for now is a teleport card that gets us out of the boss rush fight. That's really what we want. A way out of the boss rush fight so we can come back to this floor and do the rest of it. Uh, but I'm not quite sure what that looks like because it wasn't in the... Ooh, speed upgrade. It wasn't in any of the places we would expect to find it. It wasn't in the curse room. Uh, it wasn't in the shop. Unless there's an item... Well, we can't get to the shop, so we don't know. So somehow we're going to have to find a way out of boss rush and back into this floor or just leave the rest of this floor behind. Which is an option, because there are other floors. We are going further. Fuck me. Give me a goddamn key, you son of a bitch. <clears throat> Pardon my French. Excuse me? Uh, I kind of thought we were a little bit faster than that, to be honest. Hmm, can't get that. Well, there's one room, but I'm not going to do it because we are kind of pressed for time, to be honest. We have temperance, we have strength. I mean, temperance can give us... I don't really know. Money, I guess. Kind of in that for the consumables. There's points from those consumables. That's really all I can think of there. Um, let's put a bomb here. So we get out of this. So a golden chest. Because taking the piss about keys is basically the, the way this game goes. Apparently it's thematic to take the piss about keys. It's Krampus, right? Oh, it's not. Uh, I don't want either of those. And of course we've got chaos. So... We come in here, and we find that there are some super sweet awesome items that we want. No, no. Uh, or there's just shit. It's also an option. I think we take... What would you take? How's our range? Fine. Kind of want to take Cursed Eye, so I will. We'll use the Strength card as well. We've seen Cursed Eye before, it allows us to charge at four shots at once. The, the fact that we had to spend HP to get that doesn't really... doesn't piss me off as much as I feel like it should do. It has caused Eve's bird foot to spawn a familiar. Or maybe that just happens anyway, I'm not sure. But now we've got a sort of a... Just an extra helping hand of passive damage, basically, is what I'm thinking here. If uh, Monstro 2 here could just stop jumping around quite so much and start staying on the ground, that would be swell. So I can actually shoot it, because I can't shoot it when it's up in the air like that. Wow, really? Daddy Longlings has just sorted everything out, because apparently I'm incapable. Did we fight a champion mom? I do not think we fought a champion mom, and yet we are fighting champion boss rush. Which upsets me. Come on, I know you're in there. Wow, that was a pretty powerful shot. The uh, Daddy Long Legs is cleaning up those bomb flies, which are going to inevitably turn around and fuck me. Because they're going to be bouncing around the room and I'm not going to be aware of it. And then all of a sudden they're going to be on top of me and I'll be supremely glad that Daddy Long Legs uh, got rid of the mages go for me. So I don't have to worry about it anymore. Like this one. Dying. Where is this Joker? There you are. Man, I can't believe we haven't found a way to get past Mom's heart yet. I, I'm assuming there is one. It seems inevitable. Like, there always seems to be one. I just don't know whether we're going to find it or where it is. Like, we could have missed it, is what I'm saying here. I might ignore these, actually. Uh, I can't ignore them now. It's fine, though. It's definitely a champion uh, boss rush. Because this is the worst form of a haunt. Uh, it's not the worst form of the haunt. The worst form of the haunt is the one that does fucking dunce cap, brimstone, bouncy, rubber shit. You know what I mean. You've seen it. Probably haven't seen it. I'm just trying to describe something I don't have the intellectual... Of course, that would be exactly where you were. Of all the rows of tiles on this big two-room, two, four-room room, you had to be... Of all the rows in all the world, you had to fall into mine. I think this is actually the easier version of Carrion Queen, who's currently helping me with the easier version of uh, Little Gertie, which is really helpful. Very valuable indeed. Not 
quite sure how you actually fight this enemy, <laughs> if I'm being honest. I just keep shooting it and hope that one of my shots will hit it in the part that is actually vulnerable in. Yeah, yeah, somewhere like that. Somewhere around here there is a spirit heart. Right, 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 right. We've taken a lot of damage. Uh, I've only got one hit left in me. So it'd be, it'd be super swell if I could not actually get hit. But I kind of went hard on the deal with the devils. Deals with the devil. Deals avec devil. Nice try. Slowpoke. Maybe I shouldn't have taken Cursed Eye. Maybe Cursed Eye should have teleported me by now, you bastard. Get on with it. Do we have such a high tier stat? No, we don't, because I can, I can quite easily fire two. Ooh, I need that. And this pin. Or similar. I really need you to be dead now. Help. <laughs> what do I do? I shoot this so that it turns into this lasery one. And then I hope that the lasers kill the bloke. I think I found the bloke with Robo Baby. Now I'm really scared about the bloke because the bloke can do... The bloke? The bloke? Wow. <laughs> Thank God for that uh, spirit heart I got ages ago. The bloke can do lasers across the screen at me. In bad way. Yeah, like that. Whew. Ah! He got me anyway. I thought he was dead. I could have sworn his health bar disappeared. Why are you being weird? Stop being weird. Why are you standing up there shooting? Okay, I've got him. Truth, look to mercy. We did use, we didn't actually use the strength charge. Let's actually use the strength charge. That's a good idea. Now we're firing more powerful bullets. I could have sworn I used the strength charge. Shut up. Oh well, we got teleported. <laughs> That's what I asked for. <laughs> it's not what I asked for. Fuck. Well, that's why you don't take cursed eye. We are not going to be competing in this run at all. I'm a bit salty because my score has suffered quite dramatically because I've been playing so badly recently. And now my score has suffered badly because uh, I got hit <laughs> in a manner I'm not pleased with. Still looking for some way of getting into any of these fucking rooms, to be quite honest. Look at all these no keys that we've got on the map. It's just bullshit. Oh well. At least that room didn't hit us this time. I guess we go down to the next floor. At least we can. You know, there's more next floor to go down to. Do we want butt bombs or that? No. No. Man! What a time to get hit. I think I was really close to the end of Boss Rush as well. I think we were about to finish it. And of course we can't get back into it. Because the time has ended. Oh, there's a fucking key. This game is actually taking the piss out of me. And of course, I could get hit any time. And once again, <laughs> uh, be teleported to somewhere completely random that I don't want to be. Well, our hope is still to find a way down. These two monsters are just going to jump all over each other because that's what you do when you love them. When you love someone. I don't really care about. Oh, do I? Maybe I do. Let's take this. If we die, I think this respawns us as the lost, which could give us the tiniest lease on life, but then. If I got hit <laughs> in order to die, I'm respawning as the loss such that I can't get hit. Because we wouldn't respawn with Holy Mantle, it would be one hit dead, right? But it would give us that maybe little bit of hope, that morale boost required to get through the room that we die on. I think the easiest way is just to not die. The easiest thing to do is not fucking take Cursed Eye, because it's shit and you hate it. But I feel like... There's no point playing the game unless you're going to knock yourself out of the comfort zone every so often. Especially if you've actually played it enough to have a comfort zone. You know, everyone's got a comfort zone. It's brimstone, right? It's high damage brimstone. Uh, do we open that? Maybe. We can't do hush, so there's no point saving keys. We're not going to get to the chest, because even if we can teleport past this floor, it's going to be to the dark room. So we don't need keys there. I'm just going to concentrate on the outside ones here. I would like to find maybe a, a tinted rock or two. Oh, jeez. No. There's no. Well, it got rid of everything in the room. But I was hoping the Athame would have dropped us. <laughs> Blackheart. Basically, 
Because the Athame keeps dropping black hearts, we now don't have any black hearts because it keeps killing things instead of dropping more. Oh shit. Let's try not to die to these fires. That would be extremely embarrassing. Uh, uh, I'll be the first to admit that. Let's uh, get rid of the fire and then put this in the bomb and then shoot the bomb. It's Guppy's head. Ah, uh, cuddly toy. We're Guppy now. So we have a stronger chance. I wouldn't say we've won. But, Guppy is Guppy. Uh, I'll just, look. <laughs> I want this back, though. I think I want this back. No. I'm going to take Guppy's head. Two charges on Guppy's head. Found the boss. We don't need to worry about the time it takes us to get to Hush. And these flies, I think, are going to be more valuable than the damage bonus from Book of Belial. Is basically my thinking. Because each one does double our tier damage and they find their own way. Like, like, in that song by that person who would be a clutch reference right now, if I could bring it to mind. Um, have a quick scout for Tinted Drops. See none. Alas. Ah, of course, if you have the, um... If you have the battery, which we started with, then a, t a room that charges a single room, a single charge item twice, can in fact charge it twice. As Guppy, we'll be producing a lot of flies anyway. We did get that transformation. But I like to have the guaranteed extra few, fl extra few flies. Will you do the bit where I can actually shoot you? Uh, thank you. Uh, that could be just as valuable. No crampers. Okay, good. We managed to avoid Krampus fights, famous last words. There's the Bible, I'm not quite sure why that's showing up. Oh, uh, we did get, um... Yeah, we picked up Chaos. Do I want this, then? Let's, let's take it, because it's interesting and different. We haven't... I don't think I've used it yet in a daily. Have I? Maybe. It's similar to Guppy's head. Except it's the enemies that you kill that produce flies. But you get to store them up. Yeah, let's just use the world card now. That's valuable, I think. We'll see what this is. It's Super Pride. Super Pride shouldn't be too hard. It wasn't. We've got nine lives now, which will do perfectly nothing to our HP situation. But now we can die nine times, so that's good. I wonder whether we come back as the lost first. What is this for? The Converser turns Spirit Hearts into uh, Red Hearts, which I've literally never used. I'm not even sure if I've picked it up in any of my actual, you know, <laughs> in my main game. I'm pretty sure I've just never picked it up. See, now we have a, a times 11 up in the top left corner. There are now 11 flies in our jar of flies because we killed 11 enemies with our tears. Yeah, we're so powerful now. That I'll be upset if we can't find a way into the next floor. Therefore, we're going to do our damnedest on this floor to find one. Oh, Ceremonial Robes is also an amazing item. We have really come back from our uh, fuck-up on Boss Rush. But the only way to compete now is to break this game. Unfortunately, it is the only way to compete, is to break this game. Uh, the virus is decent. The virus can drop black hearts if if the thing that was poison dies from poison, I think. A bit like Serpent's Kiss? Does that sound right? I think that sounds right. Oh, that's helpful. Oh, here's Krampus. Shouldn't know. We got Krampus's head. I actually don't want it. But I will take Gimpy. Thank you for Gimpy. We had to spend an heart on the way out of there. And heart. Hmm. Very, very proper way of speaking. And heart. Uh, on the way out of the curse room. Unfortunately, I'm going for a full exploration bonus right now, by the way. If you're wondering why I'm doing all these rooms, you might be wondering why you didn't. I didn't do all the rooms on the last one. Uh, well, this can give us runes, I think. Two of clubs. Isaac's head. So I'm going to put a lot of money into this to see if we can get an Awar's rune out of it, because this seems like a great way of doing so, and if not, at least we can get all these spirit hearts. The devil. 
Samson's Lark. We've got nine lives now, so we don't need the thing that brings us back as the lost. Speed upgrade. HP. Maybe if there's a se there is a self-sacrifice room. And we have got nine lives. This is an option. Let's take a Joker card. And... I think we might want to keep the Temperance. So use the two clubs now. That's what you do. You take the Devil and the Joker card. No, you take Temperance and the Joker card. And then you try right hard to get to the dark room. Uh, I think the temperance thing might actually only work on chest. On the chest, if you have a temperance card. Christ, look at all these things. If you have a temperance card and you blow it up, you're guaranteed an item. Uh, but this, we're not going to the chest. And this hasn't exploded yet, which is quite a... There we go. We'll take the crystal ball. Crystal ball will give us HP. And cards. Two of spades, fine. Uh, at least starts uh, the ball rolling on the two of spades. Uh, look. <laughs> we finally got some keys, at least. Demon's Tail. Oh, might be good. Let's take it. We've got the Fool. We've got the Fool. We've got the Moon. Demon's Tail. Yes. We use a Moon card. Gets us to this secret room, which has the tower. And death. And strength. We don't really want any of those. But I wanted to get the full card out of the rotation so that we could... That's uh, So that we could have stuff. Then we've got a card against humanity, which we could use on a, a different room. The hermit doesn't really help. It's sort of a random teleport. The hierophant... I'd like to keep. We'll take the devil. We'll take the devil and... We'll take the Hierophant and the Joker, for now. And then, okay. Whew! What a, what a room. Take the Hierophant and the Joker. The Hierophant will at least try, at least let us try to get to the Dark Room. Because we can play on the Angel's Statue. We can play on the Self-Sacrifice Room. Which does exist. Oh, I've got a Cursed Eye. I should be firing. <laughs> I've been using, because I've been playing Lilith so long, I just forgot that I could fire myself. In fact, now I think about it, that would have been a great way of getting through Boss Rush. Good fucking thinking, you dumbass. So this is the last floor we're doing. Uh, legit. But we're not playing legit. We're playing a daily run. And all bets are off. So in order to make up for fucking up on boss rush, <laughs> we're going to fix it by doing the entirety of the dark room. Instead, this room is great to have Guppy on, because the flies just deal with everything except for that fucker, apparently. Right, we've got a charge on this, so we'll use this, which gives us... Oh, kind of hoping it would give us a, a, a spirit heart, if I'm being honest. We'll take this and use it again. It did give us a spirit heart. We'll fight Mom's heart, get the points for it, because that's why we're here, points. Points mean prizes. But, uh, it did die, that's good. We got excellent payout from this particular thing for no real reason. And the, the lack of boss rush has left me kind of salty because it's my own fault, which is why I'm salty. I didn't ask for this. I didn't ask to have a choice of four bullshit items and then take the one that causes me to completely squander all the points available. This is Krampus, right? Yeah, we don't want that. We don't want to take that because it'll end the run. So now we go over here. We go through here. We don't walk into the red boot. That's very important. And we go into here. We press this button. And we deal with this riffraff. Because what the fuck. And we blow this up. We'll just blow it up the old fashioned way. Ooh, dry baby. And then we have nine lives and a hero fan card. So let's go for it. Unfortunately, we don't have any way of reducing the damage we take for doing this. So it's going to be full cost. But at the same time... This is always full cost. This always costs this much to do. And we're really hoping for a spirit heart payout during this process. Like that, thank you. That's bombs. Spirit hearts. Uh, angel. Well, at least the angel died immediately to the... No, that's that's coins. So we'll use the Hierophant. Hierophant. Why am I uh, not taking that? Well, A, it costs us points to do so. B. Oh, I've got Gimpy, of course. So Gimpy's paying out as well, which is really nice. 
I'm hoping that maybe we can somehow fathom a Perthro room. I guess that's not actually possible. But I like to hold out the hope that it is. Let's blow this up. Maybe it can give us something good. Nah, just some coins. So we're going to make up for Boss Rush with the Dark Room. I have to imagine other people have found this, but it was in a super secret room and you did have to take Ka Do you have to take Chaos? You may have had to take Chaos. In fact, you may have had to take Chaos to get out of Boss Rush. But then I didn't want to get out of Boss Rush, so... <laughs> what are you talking about? Shut up, man. Let's just use this. It gave us... Perthro Rune! Ha! Yes! Fucking told you! Owned! In your face, everybody who thought that was a stupid idea. Use it. We get items I don't really care for. There's no point taking that because there are no more shops and it will cost us points. Then we go back because I remember that I wanted to take something else down to the dark room. We have nine lives. We're, we're a bit min-maxing, but we want to get the, the most out of this. Samson's lock, not really. The devil. Is it the devil? Let's just use temperance now. Explode that. Not, not great. But Penny is shit. The hermit doesn't help. Uh, yeah, I think we take the... Where is it? The devil card. Please. Tower. Devil. Yes. Take the devil card, which will give us the Book of Belial effect for one room. Which could be very valuable if we find a room that we're scared of. I'm also kind of tempted... Nah, we should take the crystal ball just because if we get... Um, <sighs> careful there. If we get battery charges, it's a good source of spirit hearts, basically. I hope. <laughs> right, here we are at the dark room. So we get a bonus for teleporting in the first place. There's a spirit heart. There's two spirit hearts. There's a troll bomb that we will avoid at all costs. And there's... Well, that was a really, really, really good payout. Very happy with that. Uh, one thing I should have done is already used the Joker card, but I, I failed to, so... Fuck me, I guess. Joker, and we get... Tammy's head, though. Uh, neither of these is actually valuable. I think. I mean, Tammy's head... We don't have... The car battery. When you have car battery, Tammy's head does two shots at once, which is extremely valuable. I say two shots at once. It fires twice at once, which is 24 shots on the screen at once, I think. And each of them is more powerful than your tears. I think it, it adds a, a damage bonus to the tears if it fires. These are uh, flies. But the fact that we're up here right now is knocking it out of the park. So uh, I think we may be making up quite well for boss rush. But I, I feel like we shouldn't have to. Um, kind of wish that I didn't teleport at the last second. Especially since I have an Incubus, which has not got the Cursed Eye. Uh, uh, curse. We'll use the Devil Card here, because I want this room to die in a fire. Okay, we're now in this room. And we wasted the Devil Card, because that fucker hit us whilst we were charging. Cursed Eye. Yes, fucking loving it. We're loving it like that. Abel, carried. Somewhere around here is the secret room. Yeah, getting good at that. Greed again. Forgot we were Magdalene. It's pretty easy to forget that you're Maggie. Do you know what? Book of Revelations is immediately considerably better, considerably better than uh, the Crystal Ball. Why? Crystal Ball tells you the map when you use it. But that's only valuable once. And it also has a chance to give you a spirit heart. It could also give you a rune, which happened with how we got the Perthro rune, and, or, or, or a card, right? Well, I don't want runes and cards. I want 99 bombs. Thank you. Um, I want spirit hearts. I want to not die nine times. The Book of Revelations here is guaranteed to give you a spirit heart, but it will not give you the map. We don't need the map. Look. <laughs> We're taking the fucking person. All right, we'll, we'll take it and see how it works. See how it gets on. Trouble is, the only room left is this one. So what I'm going to have to do is just use Incubus, basically. Our plan is just use Incubus. Where are you? There you are. In fact, I should be using this plan a lot more. Because it's a great plan, and I'm a genius for thinking about it. And I'm so very glad that I picked up Incubus all those years ago. Uh, yeah, keep Tammy's head. 
Unless it doesn't really impress me hugely. Unless it sort of stops being... Thank you, ink, uh, ink, uh, Infamy, for saving me from that hit. And that hit. Not really uh, killing this, if I'm being honest. The trouble is, now I think about it, in order to get real value out of um, this thing I'm going back for anyway, the, the Book of Revelations, we're going to get value out of it when we get hit. When we lose HP. And there's a strong chance that if we lose HP in that respect, we've been teleported out of the room. So, along with Cursed Eye, is the uh, clear and present danger of being teleported out of the room you're in. So, I've learned from previous mistakes. That's really good. Thank you. Not to move quite so much. I think my previous games have suffered quite considerably from the fact that all we've ever been doing is trying to... Sorry, I, uh, I had to stop and think. Um, I keep moving around sort of in a panicky sort of way. I don't want that. Um, trying to trying to be everywhere at once and none of the shots hit me, which inevitably causes all the shots to hit me. We'll take this. So, all stats up. A bit faster, a bit more damage. And an HP. What I should be doing is moving only to specifically dodge or to get in line to shoot something. Which is... That's my the result of my self-analysis. We've got 99 bombs we should be using. So I think that is where my game, which I do got, has been failing me somewhat. Yeah, just, just don't move unless you have to. That's not really worth anything, I think. I say we should use the bombs, but why? You know, Guppy's got our back. And another bomb item. So now we should definitely not use our bombs because we will die. We'll find the super secret room. It's got to be somewhere. Uh, it's got to be somewhere. Might be at the end of this particular chain. Where I was too busy going on about my self-introspection as opposed to my other people introspection. Can you introspect other people? I mean, I suppose you can, but... Extra spectrum, I suppose. It's got to be somewhere. <laughs> I'm going to find it. I'm determined to. I mean, 26,000, even for a, a mom's heart fight, is, run, is is a bit of an abysmal score. Come on now. Seriously? I'm starting to think that I don't want to find it. Do you know where it is? It's in this fucking last room. I just realised where it is. I feel silly. Oh, I picked it up. Never mind. Are these all fucking champions? What is going on here? No, that's not a champion. It's here. It's not. Okay then. And raw liver. That's even more actually. What the fuck ever. Now we just have to beat this in the good old time, the old fashioned, don't get hit sort of way. If you think the lamb is coming at you, stop firing. Like that. We got a gimpy payout, which is really good. Did the lamb just kill the other part of the lamb? That may have happened. Let's see what we win. 30,000. 704th. Not bad. Top 1,000th for not doing boss rush is a pretty good score. Let's see what the actual sorts of scores were. I'm not surprised Vava Phonics there uh, died so early because a Maggie run to start with... I've talked about it before. It's a pain in the ass. Yeah, these are 39s and 40,000s up here. So if we did both of those things, we'd have a good score, I think. That being said, an extra 4,000 would give us 34, which would put us within 3k of the top 100, basically. So, a bit salty that I didn't manage to do boss rush. I, I definitely could have avoided the damage that I lost that caused me to leave boss rush and not get to complete it. Which is a shame, but, you know... That's the way the cookie crumbles, according to Bruce Almighty. So, thank you for watching. We'll crumble another cookie tomorrow, and until then, stay safe.